examples of this. Okay. Um, my name's Kate Richardson. Um, I've been a patient of Dr. David Davids um, with Craniofacial Australia from uh, birth to about the age of 20. Um, uh, Dr. David David visited um, my mother in the second day after I was born um, and quickly took me into his arms and I think then my mother knew that everything was going to be okay. Yeah, so it was really nice and she was able to feel happy about it. I was born with um, a bilateral cleft lip and palate, um, which is basically the palate isn't fused together and the, there's no real lip there. Um, and then the rest of your side profile is often quite distorted, so flat nose, um, you talk like you have a peg on it, um, <laughs> and yeah, so that sort of um, thing. So I had my first surgery um, within the first year of birth, and then I had um, 13 uh, related surgeries to, um, to get me to where I am today, um, and that journey ended when I was 20. Um, so I guess the um, they did lots of bone grafts where they take bone from the hip um, and insert it in the roof of my palate, um, and then lots of lip revisions where they'd um, create lip there and and just get it looking better and then you've got a lot of dental work as well um, because basically the roof of your palate there's teeth absolutely everywhere um, so there was five and a half years worth of braces um, on three separate um, occasions um, and yeah it was just a very a long process and and just yeah it was um, quite intense but it was well worth it and they've just done an amazing job and I can't thank them enough. They've changed my whole life, they've transformed everything. Yeah, um, well my most memorable, well not memorable moment, more so reflection of, of how Dr David David treated his patients, especially the children. I felt like he never tried to um, tell you too much of what your journey would be. Um, it was taken on a year by year process so every year I'd see Dr David David and during a two day period I'd have about eight different appointments with um, the surgical and specialist team from speech pathology, photography, uh, uh, a nasendoscopy where they'd stick a camera up my nose and get me to talk so they could see how well my palate was working. Um, and then there was, uh, yeah, so the orthodontist, ear, nose and throat specialist, um, a panel review, and then also Dr. David David, and he, he didn't, um, he just made you feel comfortable because he didn't tell you how many more surgeries you'd have, it was just there and then at that moment what the next step was, and it didn't make you think as a child, oh, I can't do this anymore, you know, I'm terrified, it was just this is what's going to happen and and then you just hope and pray that at the annual review you didn't have to have a surgery but you knew they were all coming but it was just it was just one step at a time and and a really good way that he delivered the news each time so that was really comforting um yes i've so i've attended the um the gala ball and i've uh, done a few uh, guest speak speeches um, one was at the uh, Adelaide Cup Ladies Luncheon a couple of years ago and then I did a ABC radio interview um, at the beginning of, I think, last year, so or around last year, so it was very good and, yeah, I'm happy to help wherever I can, so. <laughs> and how... Um <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, so it's um, yeah, it was a, a slow process and um, lots and lots of surgeries and yeah, so it was very good. Um, um, yeah, it was very good. Um, I did. Uh, I spoke at the ladies' lunch and then the first speech I got all a bit emotional just delivering it to three hundred people and and just I thought you know I didn't know how it would go and yeah so. 
um, everyone was amazed and it really moved them all. So at least that was a, a benefit for Craniofacial Australia. Um, they were able to dig deep into their pockets a bit more on the day. Um, and then I did another um, speech at the um, winter luncheon last year. So that was a little bit better um, given my first speech. So yeah, onward and upward from here. <laughs> And I um, no, so I'm not a continuing patient. Um, really, I've finished seeing Dr. David David in the final three or final two surgeries of mine um, was uh, after I'd finished fully developing as a teenager. So I had one, I think, at the age of 19, and another one at the age of 20, and they were the final pieces of my puzzle. So. Um, these were the, the massive ones that you would otherwise dread, but luckily he didn't tell me all about them earlier. So um, the first one, he um, he uh, broke, he put uh, some really intense braces on my teeth that uh, were a bit different to what you normally would have, and then he broke my top jaw. Um, that was about a five hour operation, I believe. Um, and uh, break my top drawer and put um, some hip bone, I believe, in the back of my um, top drawer and moved the jaw one inch forward and that over time would set back a little bit um, because before the surgery, um, having a bilateral clepper from palate, the face is quite flat so you have an underbite, um, so it just made my side profile a lot better. Um, and then that was three days in intensive care with a dentist um, uh, saliva mm. suction stick and that was my best friend um, and three days there and then uh, a few days in the ward and then it was home um, for about five weeks on liquid food and soft foods and after about six months all the swelling had really gone down um, and it was really good. Then the final year, when I was 20, he um, he was just doing the last little bits. So um, it was multiple things all at once. So he did uh, a nose adjustment, so rhinoplasty. Um, he redid, um, tried to fix a little bit more of my palate. Um, there's still a tiny hole there, um, but it's the best it can be. Um, and he then redid my lip. Um, and he also cut off um, my chin at either side, just the chin bone, and put um, realigned it so it was a bit more pronounced. Um, and throughout my whole time with Dr. David, I'd always have my hair pinned back, and he'd ask me if I wanted my ears um, pinned back, and I'd always say, No, no, I can't, and because I just hated surgeries anyway. And the last year I thought this is the only time if he asks me again I'll do it. So I put my hair back in anticipation <laughs> and he asked me so I was like yep do it otherwise I wouldn't have ever gotten the courage to do that. So yeah that was sort of the last uh, piece of my puzzle there and um, yeah just transformed my life. I could finally um, just live like I'd never known I could before, just people weren't staring, pointing and and all that sort of thing. It was like I was just living this weird existence that I'd never known and it was, yeah, really lovely. Um, yeah. And what about... Um, oh, Craniofacial Australia, they just, they change, they transform lives and they don't just change your face. It really, it's a lifetime gift that a lot of people take for granted when they're just born naturally beautiful. You're naturally beautiful. <laughs>